Hey, what's up everybody? So after my previous tutorial on pagination, some of you were asking about the, the map and how to update it. So you'll notice there's no markers on the map and previously before we added this pagination feature where when we scroll down we have view more, we click view more and it gives us 10 more. So the second page, each page has 10. We start out with 10, we click view more, we get another 10 and so on and so forth. So we click again, gives us 10 more. And so you can do that until you run out of campgrounds to look at. Well, we're, we're never seeing any campgrounds uh, on the map. No markers are being displayed. So let's go ahead and fix that. And then we'll show you how to update. Every time you click on view more, it'll add more markers to the map. So jumping over to our code, uh, first thing we want to do is go to views campgrounds index.ejs. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the file, you'll notice that we are pointing a variable campgrounds to an object with a features uh, property and that is the stringified result of the campgrounds variable coming from the server and so if you remember we changed it to where now the actual campground the array of campground objects isn't inside the campgrounds variable it's inside of a, a property on that variable that's that variable is actually pointing to an object and that property is called dot docs so if we do stringify campground.docs, now we're pointing to that array of campgrounds, which are the features for the GeoJSON object that is then assigned to the campgrounds variable here, and that gets passed into our cluster map uh, JavaScript on the front end. So if we save that simple fix just by adding that dot .docs to campgrounds, and we go back over here and refresh, now we have not all 600 or however many you seeded, but just the 10 that are on this page, right? So we have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now if you scroll down and you click on view more, you get 10 more. Well, you would expect that 10 more would load up here and that just isn't happening. So we need to go back to our code and now we're gonna head over to the pagination. Let's go to cluster map first. So if we go to public, JavaScripts, those are actually both in the same file. We have cluster map.js and we have pagination.js. So if we go to the cluster map, we can see that the source that it's loading these uh, markers from is called campgrounds. The data that it's loading them from is from this variable called campgrounds. And that is the same variable that's getting created right here. So that's all good. That's working how it's supposed to. So first we load cluster map and then we load pagination. What that means is that anything that we declare inside of the cluster map script will also be available inside of pagination. So if we go to cluster map, we know we have access to the campgrounds variable and we have access to this map variable right here. So that's important because basically we want to use this source of campgrounds. We want to update that source and then we want to update the data uh, for the maps, the marker layer on the map. So over here in our pagination.js file, we've got the code that we wrote in the last video that we worked on. And this time we're gonna go down to line 13 where we say this.href is equal to this.href.replace, yada, yada. And we wanna add one more line. So basically what we're doing here is anytime we fetch new data, right? We click on that view more link and we send a request to our back end, which then sends a response to us here on the front end where we intercept it. And that interception is gonna happen in these dot thens. Ultimately we end up down here, but now we have access to data and more importantly, data.docs, that property that has the, the next round of 10 campgrounds. So right here on this new line, line 14, what we want to do is update the data for campgrounds. So the campgrounds object that we created back over here in the EJS file has a property called features, which is an array that we get from campgrounds.docs. And what we want to do is we want to update that array with the data that we're getting from data.docs. So this is the new data. Right, the, the next set of 10. So we say campgrounds.features.push, and then we're gonna use this awesome ES6 feature called spread. So we just do dot, 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 and then we add data.docs. We can put a semicolon at the end here if we like. And so basically, campgrounds.features.push and then spread of data.docs is gonna take that array of objects and it's going to put all those objects inside of this 
campgrounds.features array. So it's just extending the array. Instead of having to push each one individually, doing some type of loop or anything like that, we just use the spread operator and it basically pulls the objects from one array and puts them on the end of another array. Really useful. So on the next line here, what we want to do is update the map. So we have access to the map and we can, let's see here, I think it's get data, I could be, or sorry, it's get source. So we want to get a source. If we go to cluster map, we actually added a source and we named it campgrounds. So we want to get this source. We know that it's called campgrounds. So we're going to say map.getSource campgrounds. And what we want to do is we want to set the data on that. So this will update the data. So the first part, map.getSource gets the one that we called campgrounds over here in cluster map. So add source, campgrounds, that's where that comes into play. And then we're going to set the data. This is basically updating the data to something new. And so we're going to set it to the campgrounds variable. So that starts all the way back over here in the EJS, right? We have this campgrounds variable, we go down to the cluster map, and eventually we get down to pagination, which is where we are here. So we're getting the source, which is the campgrounds we created in cluster map. And then the data here defaulted to campgrounds originally. Now we're just updating it because now that campgrounds has been updated by us manually, we added in those, those new campgrounds to the feature array. Now we just wanna let the map know, hey, we've got some more data for you to use with your clusters, the markers. So we'll go ahead and save this code, head back over to our application, refresh, so we're starting new. We've got our original 10 from when the page first loaded. We go down and we click view more, it loads 10 more. If we go to the top, now you'll see three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 cluster, or 20 markers here. Some of them are clustered together in groups of three. If you go all the way to the end and we do view more, go back, you can see these numbers have changed. Now we have even more. And so every time that you click on view more and it gives you more campgrounds, it's going to add those markers. And if they're in close proximity to some other markers, then it'll cluster them together and give you the little number that indicates how many markers are clustered. So that's it for adding the markers for the maps to your project as you continue adding on to Yelp Camp and working on this pagination view more campgrounds feature. Hopefully this helped. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.